In the ever-evolving digital landscape, cybersecurity has become paramount. Protecting sensitive information from malicious actors is a constant challenge. Kaylee Linux emerges as a powerful tool in this digital battleground. It equips security professionals with the tools to assess and strengthen their defenses. Kaylee Linux provides a comprehensive suite of tools for ethical hacking. These tools allow security experts to simulate real-world attacks. By doing so, they can identify vulnerabilities before malicious actors exploit them. This proactive approach strengthens security postures. The importance of Kali Linux in cybersecurity cannot be overstated. It empowers security professionals to take a proactive stance. This contributes significantly to a more secure digital environment for everyone. Join us as we explore the power and potential of this essential cybersecurity toolkit. Kaylee Linux is a Debian-based Linux distribution. It is designed for penetration testing and digital forensics. Developed by Offensive Security, it offers a comprehensive collection of security tools. These tools cater to various cybersecurity needs, including vulnerability analysis and network scanning. Key features include a vast repository of pre-installed security tools. This eliminates the need for manual installation. Regular updates ensure the latest security tools and patches. Built on a rolling release model, users always have the latest software. It can be run from a USB drive or installed on a hard drive. Kali Linux supports a wide range of wireless devices. The open source nature fosters community contributions and improvement. Its powerful features make it a preferred choice for security professionals worldwide. Installing Kali Linux is a straightforward process. First, download the desired Kaylee Linux ISO image from the official Offensive Security website. Choose the appropriate version based on your system architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit. Verify the image checksum to ensure its integrity. Next, create a bootable USB drive or DVD using the downloaded ISO image. Several tools like Rufus or Etcher can help create bootable media. Once the bootable media is ready, configure your system's BIOS settings to boot from the USB drive or DVD, boot from the Kali Linux installation media, select the graphical install option for a user-friendly installation process, follow the on-screen prompts to choose your language location and keyboard layout, partition your hard drive as desired, creating separate partitions for the root, home, and swap areas if needed, set up a username and password for your Kali Linux system. Configure the network settings to connect to the internet. After the installation completes, reboot your system. You should now be greeted with the Kali Linux login screen. Enter your credentials to access the system. Navigating Kali Linux primarily involves using the command line interface or CLI. Familiarizing yourself with basic Linux commands is essential for efficient system management. The ls command lists files and directories in the current location. The cd command changes the current directory. File management commands include the mkdr command creates new directories, while rm removes empty directories. Understanding these commands is crucial for working with files and directories effectively. User management commands allow you to control user accounts. The user add command creates new users, while user del deletes existing users. The passwd command allows you to change user passwords. These commands are essential for maintaining system security. Networking commands like, or rpscan nmap, display network interface information. Tests, network connectivity to a remote host, displays active network connections. Mastering these commands allows you to navigate and manage your Kali Linux system effectively. Section 5 Networking Fundamentals Networking plays a crucial role in penetration testing. Understanding network basics is essential. An IP address is a unique identifier for devices on a network. IPv4 uses a 32-bit address, while IPv6 uses a 128-bit address. Ports are logical endpoints for network communication. Different services use specific port numbers. Network devices, such as routers and switches, facilitate communication between devices. Routers connect different networks, while switches connect devices within the same network. Firewalls control network traffic, blocking unauthorized access. The OSI model is a conceptual framework that describes network communication in seven layers. Each layer performs specific functions. 
Understanding the OSI model helps in troubleshooting network issues. Subnets divide a network into smaller logical units. Network topologies describe the physical or logical arrangement of devices on a network. Common topologies include bus, star, ring, and mesh. Understanding these fundamentals provides a solid foundation for network scanning and exploitation. Section 6. Network Scanning and Discovery Network scanning is the process of identifying active hosts and services on a network. Nmap is a powerful network scanner available in Kali Linux. It can discover hosts, identify open ports, and determine operating systems. Zenmap provides a graphical interface for Nmap. NetDiscover is another tool for discovering active hosts on a network. It uses ARP requests to identify IP addresses and MAC addresses. Angry IP Scanner is a cross-platform network scanner that can quickly scan IP address ranges. Network reconnaissance involves gathering information about a target network. This information can include IP addresses, host names, and open ports. Tools like DNCNum and DIG can be used for DNS enumeration. Network mapping tools like Wireshark can capture and analyze network traffic. This provides insights into network communication patterns. Understanding network scanning and discovery techniques is crucial for identifying potential vulnerabilities. Section 7 Network Exploitation Network exploitation involves taking advantage of vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to a system. Metasploit is a powerful exploitation framework available in Kali Linux. It provides a vast library of exploits and payloads. Exploits are pieces of code that target specific vulnerabilities. Payloads are actions performed after successful exploitation. Meterpreter is a metasploit payload that provides advanced post-exploitation capabilities. Social Engineering Toolkit or SET is a framework for conducting social engineering attacks. It can be used to create phishing websites and fake emails. Beef or the Browser Exploitation Framework exploits vulnerabilities in web browsers. Understanding network exploitation techniques is crucial for ethical hacking and penetration testing. It allows security professionals to simulate real-world attacks and identify weaknesses in their systems. Section 8. Vulnerability Assessment Tools Vulnerability assessment tools help identify security weaknesses in systems and applications. Nessus is a popular vulnerability scanner that can detect a wide range of vulnerabilities. OpenVAS is an open-source vulnerability scanner. Nikto is a web server scanner that can identify security misconfigurations and vulnerabilities. Burp Suite is a comprehensive web security testing tool. It can be used for intercepting and modifying web traffic. SQL Map is a tool for exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. It can automate the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws. Understanding vulnerability assessment tools is essential for identifying and mitigating security risks. Section 9 Penetration Testing with Kaylee. Penetration testing involves simulating real world attacks to identify vulnerabilities. The penetration testing lifecycle consists of planning, discovery, exploitation, and reporting. Kaylee Linux provides a comprehensive suite of tools for each stage of the process. Information gathering involves collecting information about the target system. This can include IP addresses, open ports, and operating systems. Vulnerability analysis involves identifying potential weaknesses in the target system. Exploitation involves taking advantage of vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access. Post-exploitation activities involve maintaining access and gathering further information. Reporting involves documenting the findings and recommendations for remediation. Section 10. Advanced Kali Linux Techniques Advanced Kali Linux techniques involve utilizing specialized tools and methodologies. Wireless network cracking involves exploiting vulnerabilities in Wi-Fi networks. Aircrack ing is a suite of tools for cracking WEP and WPA keys. Password cracking involves attempting to guess or recover passwords. Hashcat and John the Ripper are popular password cracking tools. Forensic analysis involves examining digital evidence to investigate security incidents. The Sleuth Kit and Autopsy are tools for forensic analysis. Section 11. Continuing your Kali journey. Continuously learning and practicing are crucial for mastering Kali Linux. Offensive Security offers various certifications, including the OSCP, which demonstrates proficiency in penetration testing. 
Online resources such as Cybrary and SANS Institute provide valuable training materials. Staying updated with the latest security threats and vulnerabilities is essential. Subscribing to security mailing lists and following security blogs can help you stay informed. Engaging with the Kali Linux community can provide valuable insights and support. 